know what the best part of the internet is? You can just close it. Anytime you want, you can just close it. I've lived on this earth for 29 years, going on 30, and there are people who I have a great deal of respect for, and there are people who I don't like at all, and um, it's funny to me, um, sort of go back and forth between you know, people who I, I don't really like end up defending me, um, and some people who I do like end up defending me. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's the same on the other end. You know, there, there's people who I would give the shirt off my back to, and they treat me like shit. And then, you know, there, there are people who I, I don't even like, but they, they seem to like me. Um. But in, the, in these times, uh, what's going on, I try not to take it too seriously. But uh, being like the the useless, you know, working class guy that, that nobody gives a fuck about, um, ultimately, I mean, my family, they don't understand me. They don't know how to how to talk to me. Um, it's very difficult. I do a lot for my community. Uh, I do a lot for the people around me. I have two neighbors who are widows. Um, I believe that everything happens for a reason. So I mean, obviously, I got fired from FedEx again, uh, and I'll go back. But now I'm working at a department store where I have access to supplies um, before the store even opens. So I was able to make two care packages for them. And I was able to get my family some supplies that uh, otherwise would have been kind of hard to acquire. Um, beyond that, there's all these little things that I do that nobody sees, and that's fine. I'm not looking for validation, I guess, but I, I wish people would see these things. I, I wish they would at least see them. I don't need some verbal validation over it, but the way that people treat me, um, they, they, it, it's pretty evident that they don't see anything that I do for, like, for example, I mean, I might bring a few people into the community and, uh, introduce them to other people. And this has been a reoccurring theme throughout my entire life. Um, I'll like, I'll introduce people to each other and then like, they'll just fuck off and do like, who's that guy? And again, it's not about, um, it's not about being recognized like publicly. It's just, you know, can, can you like, can you see what somebody just did for you? Uh, but nobody ever does. And, Regardless of however bad things get, I, I don't want to be a herald, and I don't want to be a Nadine, and I, I don't want to be a... I, in these times, the the book, uh, The Stand, by Stephen King, and obviously it's just, it's just some fiction book that he, he wrote, and I don't even like Stephen King, to be honest. 
it's uh, very relevant. Um, and when you talk about like good versus evil, I mean, yeah, there are going to be a lot of people who feel very angry about things, and they're going to want to be drawn to the side of evil. Um, again, so it's, it's a fiction novel, but it's it is all the themes in there are very relevant. And uh, I don't want to be that guy. I'm, I don't, I want to be I don't want to be a fucking I don't want to be a herald. I don't want to be a fucking Nadine. I, like these people who they were clearly uh, disenfranchised uh, socially. Um, they you know they ended up going to Randall Flag. They ended up going to the, the you know the side of evil, and um, I don't want to be like that. I don't. I I want people to suffer, but I don't want people to suffer because I'm an asshole. I I want people who are bad to suffer because they deserve to. Um, and my idea of bad is just. People who, no matter what you do for them, they just treat you like absolute shit. Um, and, you know, obviously, like, Jesus would say, you know, forgive them for they know not what they've done. Um, there's gotta be, like, there's gotta be some recourse for the... People have to, like, wake up and, like, understand what they're doing. It's hard to explain. But anyway, for me, I mean, if, I, if I'm going to take, if I'm going to take that book seriously and, like, you know, take those concepts seriously, Mother Abigail's calling my name. Um, I have things I have to do to help people, and I'm trying to do them, and I feel like that is, uh, very much why I've been placed on this earth at all, um, I, because otherwise, I'm just a life support system for alcohol and cigarettes. Um, you could, you could refer to, uh, Bukowski's poem, The Bluebird, um, and, and that, that poem itself is not about altruism or anything, but I don't take care of myself. And the things that I do focus on that are positive are taking care of other people. I would very much like to take care of other people. That is, that's my choice. It's what I would like to do. It's what I do. Um, I try to make people happy. I try to make people laugh. I try to make sure people are taken care of and they have the things that they need. And even, you know, it would work. I, anytime somebody needs help, I go and I help them. I try to give all of me to everybody else. And I have no shame in that. And I don't want anything in return, except for the ability to, to just live happily and make friends and just enjoy my life. That's all I want. All I want is friendship. All I want is love. Just people being together. And there, there's definitely some controversy there because of the habits that I keep and, uh, you know, the art that I'm into 
the music that I'm into, people would question, why, why would you care about anybody else? It, it's hard to explain. Um, and I think, I think a lot of the artists that I listen to and that I read would say the same exact thing, that it, it's hard to explain. It's not just darkness. There, there's light in darkness. People become altruists because they they don't they they see the end of the tunnel. They they start thinking, all right, maybe I don't value my, you know, me as a vessel. I don't value that. I don't have any self respect in in that sense, but. They would like to see people be happy because of the pain that they've endured. They would like to see other people happy. And when people can't get out of their own way, uh, that just really sucks because there's nothing you can do for them. And you see that they need, you know, something, but they, they, they can't get out of their own way. They do it to themselves. So, I try, um, but I, I can't, I, I can, I can reach my hand out, but if you don't grab my hand, then there's nothing I can do. Uh, there's, and then I feel hopeless. I feel like I have no purpose. And I've, I've sacrificed years of my life to try to help people. And they don't give a fuck. If you don't give a fuck, that's fine. Everybody's within their rights to not give a fuck. Clearly, I don't give a fuck about myself. I... I, I don't take care of myself. But, I want other people to be taken care of. It, oftentimes, it, it just does not work. I mean, at the end of the day, people are going to do their own thing. And, and they may know what's best for them. And it's not my place to say what is good for anybody else. But I, if the way people treat me really pisses me off, it does. Um, I've been trying to just be a lot more relaxed and not care too much about that because everybody's got their own life to live. But when when I try really hard to, and this is like my life story right here, I bring people together, I unite people, and then they fucking, like, forget about me. And it's not that I want credit for that, it's just... In include me. What? You know? Look, like, the, the whole idea from the jump is let's all be friends. Let, let's all hang out. But then I bring people together and, like, I'm boring or I'm not cool enough or whatever. So uh, people just go off and they do their own thing. And, and this has happened. Like, <laughs> this is like the Matrix. Like, this has happened, like, you know, six fucking times in my life with, like, different groups of people. And at a certain point, it's like, I'm, I'm done. I, what, what, what's the point? It's like fighting a war or something. Like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> what exactly are you doing? I don't know. I always express my thoughts.
because uh, it's important to express your thoughts. I feel like shit right now. I feel like I feel out of place. I feel like I'm just working this fucking job, and all those guys know. The, the, all the guys I work with know. They understand. It's the same shit. We're all just like broken men. Broken people. We don't know what the fuck. We're just making a paycheck. And that's what it's come to. There's no more glory. There's no more, you know, it's, the FedEx is done. There's, there's no more, you know, I'm a hero. Uh, it, it's just, we got work to do. Let's get it done. Let's go home. Sleep all day. Work the next shift. It's fucking garbage to me. I don't like it, but it is what it is, and I'm making good money, so. Mm. There's a lot of people that I miss that I wish were still around, and they're just not. So that sucks. Like I said, if, uh, if I'm just like a fucking cum receptacle, or if, I mean, what the fuck? Who were any of those people anyway, right? I, I try. That's all I can do.